Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Certified RV10, four-seat Brazilian RV10 LSA gains approval. Schweitzer refreshes first OEM certified S300 CBI. SpaceX shows substantial progress with second Starship test flight. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Certified RV-10, four-seat Brazilian RV-10 LSA gains approval. Flyer Industria Aeronautica's locally assembled RV-10 LSA received approval from Brazil's ANAC, making it the first such multi-passenger sport plane in the world. The agency perhaps jumped the gun a little bit in granting authorization to a four-place aircraft, granting approval to a type of plane pilots around the world have eagerly awaited. Stateside, the industry has been digesting the proposed changes under Mosaic, a new approach to light sport aircraft that would most visibly change the market. An announcement on the manufacturer's Facebook reads, quote, Flyer received our certificate of recognition for the RV-10 LSA as a light sport aircraft. We're grateful to all of our clients, customers, partners, and friends for being a part of this decisive moment in our business's history. We're especially grateful to the ANAC, whose pioneering spirit and courage allowed us to certify the first light sport four-place aircraft in the world." End quote. Flyer Industria Aeronautica's RV-10 iteration cuts a familiar figure to those leaving the line back home. Line aircraft featuring a Lycoming IO540 with 260 horsepower good for a 211 miles per hour top speed and 20,000 foot ceiling. Brazilian RV-10s will be factory finished and ready to go, requiring nothing of prospective owners other than a checkbook and a license. Coming up after the break, U.S. Coast Guard rescues two people and a dog off Florida coast. I think it's a very important thing to share the joy and love of flying. Our customers fly to remote places. They use our products to go places that are difficult to get to. Hearts has been an excellent partner for Whip Air, uh, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demands. And it is that shared experience and the joy of flying that brings us all back and charges all of our batteries up. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Another day, another rescue. U.S. Coast Guard rescues two people and a dog off Florida coast. A Coast Guard Air Station Clearwater MH-60 Jayhawk helicopter air crew rescued two people and their dog Saturday about 90 miles off Hernando Beach after their sailboat became disabled. The couple and their dog were brought back to Air Station Clearwater in good health, although the dog seemed a bit out of sorts throughout the rescue. Coast Guard Sector St. Petersburg watchstanders received a digital selective calling alert at approximately 1100 hours alerting the Coast Guard. It was reported a porthole broke allowing water to get into the vessel. Coulson Fire nabs contract with Chile. Coulson Aviation will be putting a unit of its C-130H Hercules large air tankers on station with local partner Brisa to fulfill a three-year contract with the Chilean National Forest Corporation. The unit will be supported by a Citation 550 air attack lead plane. The Citation serves as an airborne command and control center once the worst comes to pass, too. Its maneuverability allows it to stay out of the way of tankers firefighting down below, while its speed helps it to hop around the region wherever it's needed most. FlexJet opens AMT training with Purdue University. FlexJet has embarked on a partnership with Purdue University to bolster its pipeline of incoming aviation maintenance technicians, offering a program that combines hands-on apprenticeships with remote learning. 
The Aerosphere for Business Aviation program will make use of Purdue's Center for Research and Education in Advanced Technology Ecosystems, a fund name that allows them to use the acronym CREATE to provide a symbiotic approach to learning between an innovative education facility and one of the largest private aviation operators in the world. Chaparral C1 takes flight with hybrid power. A 57-second test flight of the Chaparral C1 took place on November 12th, proving the hybrid turbo generator system of the company's upcoming eVTOL competitor. The team isn't just eyeing the exciting new market for AAM operations and air taxis, but a coveted chance at competing for a place at the military contracting table. Elroy Air's involvement in the AFWorks Agility Prime project has given the firm some extra intensity in pursuing a functioning aircraft platform, keeping an eye toward fast, reliable logistics capabilities. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Schweitzer refreshes first OEM certified S300 CBI. Schweitzer helicopters are alive and kicking, or at least rotating in part. The company has completed the first helicopter of its new OEM certified helicopters program. The refurbished S300 CBI is the complete package and includes a new engine, blades, interior paint, and low time components. With the program, Schweitzer accepts older Schweitzer aircraft, regardless of their airworthiness, for intensive inspections, repairs, and component replacement. Customers can trade in their older Schweitzers for either a discount equal to the value of the aircraft on a new helicopter, or receive a percentage of their aircraft sale price when Schweitzer sells it after it completes the program. Once at Schweitzer, traded in aircraft are evaluated and moved into one of two categories in the OEM Certified Helicopter Program. OEM Certified Refreshed Helicopters, or OEM Certified Refurbished Helicopters. Refreshed helicopters are relatively low-time aircraft requiring few repairs and or part replacements. These aircraft undergo an intensive OEM inspection. Parts and components needing replacement or are nearing life limitation are replaced, and full 400-hour, 800-hour, annual, and 24-month inspections are conducted. The aircraft are also professionally detailed inside and out with blemishes repaired. Each OEM certified refreshed helicopter comes with a one-year, 1,000-hour warranty on parts replaced or repaired by Schweitzer. After these messages, SpaceX shows substantial progress with second Starship test flight. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. SpaceX shows substantial progress with second Starship test flight. The long-awaited and bureaucratically delayed second flight of the SpaceX Starship finally took place early Saturday. The monstrous vehicle did not destroy the pad and surrounding facilities this time around, SpaceX having learned well from the first go-around as all 33 Raptors lit off and continued producing propulsion until stage separation, one of the critical tests of this launch. SpaceX was trying to preserve as much launch momentum as possible that could conceivably contribute to as much as 10% increase in eventual payloads by hot staging. The first stage started its boost back return procedures following a clean separation, but something went awry and the flight termination system detonated, destroying the vehicle for reasons yet unknown. The main Starship vehicle continued a consistent burn for nearly all of the expected boost to an orbitally sufficient velocity that should have brought it to a point where it would have executed part of the quasi-orbital re-entry sequence with a splashdown near Hawaii. That was not to be, since an as-yet-unknown issue actuated its own flight termination system at 150 kilometers. Musk promised progress with this launch, but also noted that they did not expect to meet all of their many objectives, though they do seem well pleased with how far their development process has taken them. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.